His condition is still not stable. Regarding transporting him, I believe it's too early to talk about it. We need to stabilize the patient completely. All the biological material we sent off for analysis, they all came back negative for the substances for which they are being tested for. Tests are still being conducted and they'll continue for another two days. They refuse to transport him. They say that they can't do it now and that he can't be transported, despite two hours ago we were preparing papers for the transfer. We think that it's been done to give the chemical substance time and Alexei's body time to disappear. He obviously isn't in a good condition. Of course we can't trust this hospital and we require that the doctors give him to us so we can treat him in an independent hospital whose doctors we trust. To our surprise, after they told us the day before that actually Navalny will be able to fly, nevertheless that he's unconscious and he's in a coma, um, that it would be possible. Suddenly we were told that it's not possible. Early in the morning uh, in Omsk, uh, suddenly like some something was switched off, like medicine mode of cover-up operation mode on, and the doctors refused to cooperate anymore, refused to give any information even to Alexei's wife. Medical staff, the people in white robes, were literally substituted uh, by people in gray suits in their offices. The condition of Navalny can be evaluated as seriously unstable. This instability can worsen. There are a lot of risks, so he is not allowed to be transported anywhere. Doctors have taken materials from his skin, nails and clothes. This chemical agent found is a usual industrial chemistry product. It is used, for example, to produce plastic cups, which everyone touches and everyone drinks from. Let me confirm one more time. This agent was not found in his blood. The main diagnosis we lean towards is a carbohydrate balance disorder, meaning metabolic disorder. It may have been caused by a rapid drop in blood sugar on the plane, which caused him to pass out.